Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Brooke. If you're not new here, I'm still Brooke. Um, I did a smoky eye when I colored my hair maybe two weeks ago. And I said I wanted to get back into filming. Which one do you want? Do you want my new favorite things or do you want the smoky eye? People said the smoky eye, so here it is. It's really simple. I think it was like six shadows four or five brushes. It takes less than 10 minutes. This is really easy for fall and really easy for you if you want to do something that looks like you put a lot of effort in before work, but you really didn't. This is a perfect thing for you. Perfect time of the year. You can wear it any time of the year, but it's almost fall, so you have to do the warm tones for fall. So if you're interested in watching this tutorial, just keep watching. So all the shadows that I use in that smoky eye and usually what I use every single day are Saucebox Cosmetics. In my opinion, she's a little bit underrated because I don't hear about her a lot as much as I feel like I should. The pans are huge. Like, look at all these colors that you can get. Like, all of these colors, like, they're so pigmented. Like, you got blue, this gold. Like they're super pigmented. The pans are huge, like I said. Like look at that. For my eyeshadow base, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This stuff is amazing. You only need a little bit and it goes the longest way. Always when you do, I know it looks like a lot, but it'll be fine. Always when you, when you're doing this, putting your base on, I would go ahead and just go in this corner because once you put your eyeshadow on, you're not really going to go back in that corner without messing everything up. I think for the video, I'm just going to do one eye on camera. I'll do the other one off camera so I can really explain what I'm doing. It's not that hard. It's really simple. Anybody can do it. First shade I'm gonna go into is this orange one right here, which is Sunset. This is what it looks like. And I'm literally just gonna go like right in the crease, really messy. Just go in a couple of times because it's better to go back in than not tap off the color and just have like a big splotch of something in one spot. It's easier to just take your time and blend. Next shadow I'm going to go in is Wonder. Looks like this. Next, I'm just gonna go right under where you just went. You want to make everything look as one. You don't want it to be just like a shadow, another shadow, another. You want everything to just blend and flow. Next, I'm going to start going a little bit darker. This is Cinna Baby. It's just your typical brick red brown color. Everybody has one.
when you're done with one shadow, you can always go back in with the previous brushes and blend. Then I'm going to take like something like this, like a packing brush, I don't know. And go into a lower warm tone brown. Literally just pack it on the lid. And then you take one of your previous brushes and start blending. And then to blend all of this more up, because I have a lot of space on my lid, so I can go pretty high up here. I'm going to take this like mustard color called Daffodil. Like all the shadows I just use plus a olive and a gold. That's all you need for fall. That's it. And I'm just going to go like above everything and diffuse that out. Make sure you smudge that dark brown kind of in your lashes. That's pretty much it. It looks weird because I don't have the rest of my makeup done, but. My new favorite foundation ever, ever, ever. It's better than L'Oreal Pro Matte. It's not drugstore, so there's still different categories. But it's the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. What I like to do with my foundation is take it on like one of these big flat brushes and just paint it. And then just go in with a beauty blender and tap it. Tap it out. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer again as my face concealer, whatever. But I use medium sand for my face. I use light peach for my eye base. It goes against everything I know, not setting this concealer, but you don't have to, or I don't have to, and I know a lot of other people don't have to with this concealer. It dries perfect. To finish this eye, I'm just gonna go back in with all the brushes that I use, no more product. I'm not gonna use any extra product. I'm not gonna dip back into any um, shadows. I'm just gonna use whatever's left over on the brush. Bronzer, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Mega Bronzer O2 Warm. This one. To contour, I use the e.l.f. Forever Sunkissed. It's like four dollars. 
It makes a really pretty contour. It reminds me of the middle shade in the Kat Von D contour palette, if that helps. For my highlight, I'm going in with ColourPop Wisp. It's a cream, so I just like to warm it up on my finger and tap it in. I never really like cream highlighters, but I never really knew how to wear them, if that makes sense. I didn't know to warm them up in your hand. You know, my lashes that I wear, like, if I wear any lashes anymore, they're either Ardell Wispies, Demi Wispies, or the Baby Wispies, like anything in that realm. So see, I put that one on, so I'm going to go back and just like press this down. You're really supposed to use tweezers. Do you think I can find tweezers at the moment? So this is it. This is, I think it's all the same products that I use. It probably isn't, but it's close enough. So these are all the shadows and all the makeup things that I used in the picture when I posted when I first colored my hair. I probably shouldn't use like a lot of orange eyeshadow with orange hair, but I don't really care. So I hope you like it. Maybe it won't be five months before I post another video. Maybe.